Good evening, everyone. Welcome to today's story time. So the title of today's story is Choo Chomp Yum. All that is good for your tum. Author of today's story is Benita Sain and illustrator is Nilofar Wadia. It's a level two story book by storyweaver.org.in, but it's a very long story. So I will skip some pages in between, okay? You can, you can unmute yourself and let me know if you want me to take up any page in between. From elephant to ant, we all need some. When I am done, my tummy says yum, yum, yum. Guess what that is? Yes, it is food. And food makes me go chew, chomp, yum. <laughs> chew, chomp, yum. Chew and chomp is the kind of eating process. When we eat, it's chew. When animals are not eating and just swallowing all at a time, that's chomp. And uh, some animals like cow bring back their food in mouth to keep processing it slowly later on. Uh, I forgot the word for that. Okay, what is food? Can an elephant walk through the forest without food? Can an ant leave its nest without a bite of food? Can you even breathe if you don't eat food? We all need energy to read, play, eat, study and to live. Where does that energy comes from? From food. Plants get energy from sun. They are the producers. Animals get their energy from food like plants or other animals. So we eat lots of plants, different types of plant produce. Human beings eat different types of food. Some natural things that other creatures eat are not food for humans. So every species, every different plant and animal have a different requirement of food. For all the producers, plants, sun is the basic source of energy and we eat plants. So why are they sighing? Why are they not so happy? The sunflowers are saying, I am my own kitchen. No one makes food for me. It can be a little boring sometimes, I guess. <laughs> Yikes, did I swallow a worm? Deer is vegetarian, herbivorous. It does not like to eat worm. But sometimes you can't help it. It might come with the greens you are eating, but it does not like it. Yikes, it's saying. What is the tiger saying? That deer is so thin. I am sure it is not eating much. And <laughs> the tiger is saying that deer is not enough for me. It's too thin. It should be eating more. Okay, and then there is a lot of things about tooth. I'm skipping that. When it doesn't come, your stomach gets, okay, when the food doesn't come, the stomach gets angry and upset. Ouch, I'm hungry. Okay, I'm skipping the teeth part. Bite or break your food into smaller bits. This makes chewing easier. Chew carefully, slowly, and pay attention to how you break your food down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Take the next bite only after you have swallowed the previous bite. Try not to talk when you are eating. You may choke. Frogs, which have no teeth, swallow their food whole. An African elephant has four teeth, big teeth, to chew with. Chappi, a hard Himalayan cheese, can take hours to soften before you can chew it. Oh, that's not easy to eat then. Cats hardly chew their food, but you are not a cat. So we all need to chew our food well. Chewing food is good exercise for jaws, gums, and tongue. Okay, there are different types of food. Okay, sports person like me. Okay, who is a sports person? I don't know. Um, because a sports person like me, Acha Banana is saying that sports persons like me because I have iron, potassium and vitamins. 
calcium and iron make me super strong palak is saying spinach is saying that calcium and iron make me super strong and all the green vegetables are saying vitamins minerals proteins and carbohydrates we have it all so actually these are complete food we don't need anything else if we are eating lots of fruits and vegetables every day and then what is milk and milk product saying the first one on the top is milk and then there is cheese and butter and curd and what do they say they say we have protein we have vitamins and we have lots of fat we have it all what do fishes and nuts have they have manganese magnesium some essential new uh, minerals and good fat that makes us a crunchy delight okay dal and chawal go along perfectly together they are protein and carbohydrate which is a winning sum see they are shaking hands together so that's why it makes a whole meal dal and rice uh, rice and dal yeah together okay what are minerals minerals are important animal elements found naturally important for the health for our body vitamins are chemicals that cannot be made inside our body but they are very important for the health of our eyes skin and hair sometimes we eat multivitamin when the doctors ask us to some but everything has to be done in moderation too much of anything is not good some animals like bats dogs and guinea pigs can make some vitamins they need but we cannot what are fats fats are the uh, things like ghee and oil and such that comes from uh, also from different foods all the foods have some amount of fat in them but ghee and oil are pure fat fats are needed to keep us healthy and full of energy they give too much energy so too much fat is not good but we should eat some fat for sure every day they help our bodies to absorb some vitamins some vitamins are only soluble in fat the fat in foods like burger and chips is bad for our health animal products cheese nuts and oils contain good fat everyone needs some fat to stay healthy and to have energy what are proteins proteins are the building blocks of the body like how bricks are for your house proteins are for our body okay they are found in everything from hair to toenail a mixed dal made of soya bean masoor moong and cow peas would be packed with protein even if you take them separately one in one at a day in a week you will get a full spectrum of different dal and that will be very good for your body protein is also found in milk curd cheese animal products beans seeds nuts wheat so also the grains have some protein wheat oat brown rice barley few <laughs> carbohydrates are needed for energy like fat they give energy starchy and sugary foods like rice sugar potatoes gives us carbohydrates but even our dal and rice have a lot of carbohydrate in them okay too much of fat similar to too much of carbohydrate could make us unhealthy so we should not eat too much of cakes jams and pizza especially the more refined a carbohydrate is the worse it is like when we start from wheat the most coarse form is dalia broken wheat and then there comes suji semolina and then is our brown uh, wheat uh, this uh, atta and then there is maida which is the most fine ground flour so maida is unhealthy most unhealthy and all the things that we taste and like breads cakes pizza burger everything all of these things matri biscuits they are all made up of maida all the time so we should try to minimize that in our diet okay what should we have we should have lots of greens cabbage spinach fiber to clean your insides roughage to uh, help us digest our food calcium for our bones oranges what do they give they what carrots and pumpkins 
they are orange in color so we should have all the colors in our food on our plate on on at least a weekly basis we should think okay this week i have had all the colors of the spectrum right they are good for eyes and skin what is red good for red we get from watermelon and tomatoes they are good for bones and to fight illnesses like cancer oh that's very healthy purple there are purple grapes and then there is brinjal a plant that keeps you health heart healthy looking young and free from diseases perfect so what is a good idea feel like eating something yummy and healthy try fruit salad made from guava papaya banana watermelon and other seasonal fruits that grow in your region add a dash of lemon and a pinch of rock salt for more health and taste yum strike a balance our body needs different kind of nutrients but no food contains everything so we might want to eat paneer with everything we should still include grains vegetable pulses oil and butter okay some foods are good and some foods are not when you eat right your body can sing chu chomp yum there's goodness in my tum tum is short for tummy stomach we can play game with our friends okay so what what can we eat try idli sattu litti daliya poha for breakfast for lunch we can have brown rice rajma or any other dal bajra khichdi or normal khichdi and then kuttu or buckwheat roti or mixed veg or pejhad ki roti what can we have for healthy snacks we can have dhokla we can have buttermilk we can have roast dal or popcorn we can have puffed rice muri or murmure and we can have salad and for dinner what would be healthy multigrain roti sprouts salad green peas ka roti methi ka paratha include lots of greens in your food wherever you can okay all right thank you for listening